Well, hello everybody. How are you? How are you? Yes, my name is Wayne. You are watching Inside Fell On. We're right here in the Radburn Plaza area. There's the Radburn Plaza building. But you know what? I'm going to visit these guys because I think they're having a special fundraiser going on. A little bit of music. Work hard, be nice. That's the theme. Here I am. Let's go inside and see what's going on. I think I know you. Mike, is that your name? That's me. I'm Mike Russomano. Where are you from, Mike? I am a social worker at Fairlawn High School. What does a social worker do at Fairlawn High School? <laughs> social worker pretty and much. And this is a small spot. I don't have an hour show. Go ahead. Yeah. Social worker pretty much uh, does anything possible to help the student body in terms of uh, any kind of assistance, whether it be scheduling, um, things for classes, emotional, behavioral stuff, just any kind of ongoing support for the whole school. That almost sounds like an everyday kind of challenge. It is, yeah, it's an everyday challenge. Busy. At the same time, being gratifying when things work. Absolutely, always, right? every day. Now, tonight we happen to be at the Radburn uh, Rail Yard, I believe. Yes. Tavern. This uh, event going on here that I think maybe you organized, but just before I jump on that, there's somebody that's sitting right next to you. What's your name? Uh, Chris Overbrand. And you guys are like performing together tonight. Is that basically the deal? We are. Yes. Okay. How do you like this guy? He's good. He's a family friend. No, no, tell me the truth. No, really. Well, you know, no, I'm just kidding. He's good. He's a family friend. He's known my wife forever, so. You guys know each other very well. Yes. Okay. Yes, very well. Tonight, focusing on what's the concept? Why, why are we here? There's a fundraiser, but for what? The fundraiser is for uh, the school safety team, which is basically a school safety school team. School safety team that is uh, comprised of teachers, administrators, to overall try to help the uh, anti-bullying, harassment, intimidation, bullying of the school. So we're a committee that has to be put together for all schools, but we go above and beyond to try to do some extra things like the fundraiser tonight to put extra programs or extra things in place to try to promote positive respect. Is that becoming us. more of a problem as time goes on, bullying, by the way? It's becoming more Especially aware. at the high school level? I'm a little surprised. On the high school that. level, there's a lot of awareness about it because over the last several years of everything that's gone on to try to really promote the positiveness of it all. But yes, it's been a, a problem for a long time that we're everybody in the state is trying to tackle. And, and what does the safety team do? So we meet as much as we can. The idea is to create and implement programs that the state wants us to implement, like uh, some guest speakers for anti-bullying harassment, but also to go through different things to educate the parents, educate the students about harassment, intimidation, and bullying. And then these things like this we're doing today, which is like extra stuff to do fundraising to get a little extra money to put some extra things in place, some extra kind of um, additional either events or programs so that just information to inform and educate people about the problem to inform I guess. and educate and really to like what we're doing tonight is just try to get a, a, a promote the respect level of the students the teachers to try to just make everybody a little bit more um, aware of each other to be a little bit more uh, pleasant and respectful amongst the students which is so I, I, have, I have to be nice to both you guys I, I think so yeah, be good. I think that's the rule I can for do being that. here yeah <laughs> Are you finding a little success in doing this, by the way? Yeah. I, I'm not sure if there's a way of actually measuring that, but do you find it? Maybe? Well, there actually is, because I mean, for, well, for reported incidents of bullying, and, and that comes through like the, the correct channels, and when we actually investigate, um, the numbers have been down over the last several years. So I think okay. that, I think the awareness of the, the students and the, and the people around to say like what bullying really is, and to try to really get a grip on what's happening, I think I think it is getting better. It's definitely by no means gone. And I think we need to just adapt as time goes on. Let me ask you this. You say there's a safety team. Are there some kids from the high school that's part of it? What we do is uh, the, the team itself is administrators and teachers. But what administrators we do is, and teachers, okay. We do, part of what we do is have to educate. So we'll have the, the principal especially will have um, different things with other assemblies with the kids or the parents to talk about all the things that we do for harassment, intimidation, and bullying in the schools to try to get everybody aware and on the same page so that we all know what we're doing. You know, it's unfortunate that we actually have to have a safety team like this to do it, but I think it's also very good that you and others are actually going out of your way to make that more more awareness of how to take care of that situation. I think so. I think it's really I important. I really do. I think it's really important. Now tonight, both of you guys are going to do some music. How long have you guys been playing together? Chris, what's your... Uh, playing together? What a year? Music, About music, a year. yes. About a year. I've been playing since high school, but he didn't even know I played. <laughs> Neither did my wife, actually, for quite some time. One day she says, oh yeah, by the way, I play guitar. I played since I was in college as well, and okay. we never really knew of that. But we've been friends for a long time, but the, the guitar and the music just kind of came naturally over uh, the course of yeah. the last kind of year. Honestly, the, kind of the way we came up with the name is we watch football every Sunday and play guitar. You play football as you watch guitars. <laughs> yes, exactly. Or the other way around. The other way around. Depending, Depending on, on my way way So that's how we story. came up. Our name of uh, All right, so songs. what I'm going to let my audience know that in a little while, we're going to actually hear a opening acoustic song here. Yes. Uh, I wish I could do Maybe I'll come back eventually in the future and just do a, a little bit more than a one song kind of gig. That'd be great. But I wanted to get the message out 
about working hard and being nice because I think that's very important. So the work hard, be nice was a motto that was adopted by the school safety team. Our, our principal kind of every year adopts a motto for the year for the school. And uh, we took that on as, as a way of kind of making that central theme. So work hard, be nice. One of the things we've done in school is uh, been caught being nice. So teachers can actually no uh, um, nominate students for doing something that they've seen them do being nice without them knowing about it. And it actually gets posted on the board and some kind of positive reinforcement. Some kind of positive thing. reinforcement. So they, they walk in the cafeteria, they see their name up and they say, Wow, someone saw me do something nice. Well that's it a great wasn't. idea. Yeah. And that's like that's one of the things that the safety team can do. I guess you don't do that on the flip side where if someone does bad you put their name up and teach them a lesson. We're gonna we're gonna that's on the all it's positive stuff. We're gonna hold off on that. One. Nice all right, well guys, it's a pleasure being you. I'm gonna look forward to hearing some music and I'll touch base with you in the future. You let me know how that program is doing it, okay? Great. Thanks so much. Bye folks, stand by for Mike and Chris music in a second.